Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, welcome. My name is Rianne. Today we're in a handbag infomercial set which I think is very cute. And I'm gonna be showing you some of my kind of favorite neat things to keep in my handbag to celebrate releasing the three new shades of the mini tote that I designed with Samara handbags, which are a vegan and a charitable handbag line. They have a lot of other little accessories and styles as well. And these three are the shades that are uh, available. I mean, these are the existing shades which you can also get, but, you know. So I will show you those up close um, at the end of this video, but before that, I'm gonna show you some of my favorite things to keep inside my handbag, so let's go. If you guys haven't tried the uh, Lagunitas Hop Refresher, Highly recommend. Uh, no alcohol, no carbs, no calories. Don't understand how they do it. Tastes a bit like sparkling weed water and uh, can't get enough. So if you want like a non-alcoholic, delicious drink, <laughs> this isn't an ad. I wish it was Lagunitas if you wanna get in touch. Some of these are gonna be pretty obvious things, some might not be. I will put everything in the description if you wanna let me know what you keep in your handbag. Do so in the comments, I will meet you there. The first thing that is gonna be in mine is my telephone. What is this, the, what number iPhone? Not the newest massive one, but the previous massive one. That's the phone I have. I like it because it's the bigger screen. I do a lot of stuff on my phone and so the big one suits me. And the case I have is from Pella Case. And this is like a, I'm pretty sure they're like compostable or something, phone case. I'm gonna put up on the screen what they're made of and everything and other notes, but um, I really like the case and knowing that it's a little better on the environment because I don't know about you guys, but I'm not a human that can just carry this around because it's terrifying, but also very slinky and sensual, you know? I always keep it in a case. The next obvious thing is a wallet. I'm currently using my Sans Beast one, which uh, is like a credit card section here, which I'm pretty sure they've changed the design now so that the cards pull out easily. This design is not um, super easy to use, but I'm pretty sure they've changed it now. Um, and I just really like it. I like it's like chunky little guy with a little wrist strap so you can swing it around. And um, yeah, cute. Sunglasses, um, I'm not gonna remember which ones are in here. Oh, these are, <laughs> these are actually my prescription ones. Yeah, so I can't see anything right now when I put them on, but they were from Glasses USA. And the case is from Matt and Nat. I thought it was really cute, so. Sunglasses, protect your eyeballs. The next thing all of us should probably be carrying in our handbags is the selection of masks. I have these ones from Sol and Celine. I also have a plain black one. Uh, they're kind of like foamy inside. So they're pretty, not like rigid, but don't know how to describe it. And the um, and the straps are adjustable. So I feel like they're pretty, um, pretty good snug fit. And then this one Adam got from one of his like bike soap bike cleaning soap companies or something which I really like too they have different sizes the ear straps are adjustable and it also has this extra flap can you see that like I can fold that up and down so that I think is meant to be so that you don't fog up your um glasses if you're wearing them which is extremely annoying so yeah selection of masks um and those Sol and Celine ones I got in a pack of three and I think I have like other discount info which I will put somewhere accessible for you. If you guys have found like your absolute favorite mask cut, uh, let me know and uh, wow, what weird times we are living in. Similarly, I also carry this little stasher bag. It's like the smallest one, I think. You can keep snacks in here too, but in here I have some random wipes that I've picked up along <laughs> my uh, life. Like there's like lemon fresh ones. Um, and then some packets of these gloves. Uh, I think they may have changed the name now, but they are, uh, what are they, compostable? Compostable and biodegradable uh, gloves, which 
again, because of the weird time we're living in, could be helpful. So I always have a couple packs with me. Um, you could use them at like gas stations if you wanted to, or anytime you think you might be touching things. Staying in the same theme. Hand sanitizer. Uh, I've been carrying two lately. Uh, one is the NCLA ones. Uh, this is meant to be watermelon flavor. <sighs> kind of just smells like watermelon and tequila. Why did hand sanitizer used to smell so much better than it does now? That's my question. Uh, and then this other one is very cool and scientific. It's from Clean Republic and it uses, what's it called again? Hypochlorous acid uh, in it. So I have, I use this around my house on my services. I'll link you to the video, but they also have a little spray hand sanitizer, uh, which is very compact pocket size. So if you know someone who has never taken hand sanitizer with them, but should, this would be a neat little thing to get them because it will always fit in your pocket. And again, who could have imagined how this year would go and the weird things we end up like just accepting as being normal because we've just decided we're gonna live with the pandemic now. Uh, anyway, this is the Clean Republic All Purpose Everyday Cleaner. It uses that same ingredient. Uh, super safe to use around like pets. I think it's safe to use around children too. Don't quote me on that, but obviously look into it. And um, I like to have that so that if I'm in my car or something or need to wipe something down, I can do so. Uh, and this stuff you can also just spray on and leave, I'm pretty sure too. So, um, yeah. Okay, let's get away from Corona stuff, shall we? Another thing I wanted to mention in general, and you probably already have a lot of these at home, is to use... Um, like little bags inside of your handbag that's what I love to do to kind of keep things all together like for example my gloves and wipes they live in a little pouch I will often put like my makeup bits and pieces in one pouch or um, sometimes I've even put like a smaller like wristlet or handbag inside of my big bag so that I can just like wrap that out and uh, take that instead but this is the Samara uh, I think this is the iPad what size iPad does this fit can't remember but it fits the one that's this size but I want to to show you because you can just put whatever you want in there really little wallet phone <laughs> checkbook I don't know and it fits perfectly inside of these bags and this one down here is the same color you can't see from over there because it's dark but I thought that was a neat little way to go if you want to kind of keep things a little bit separate you may already have some bags that you might want to use for dividers but that one does look very nice with the matching color Oh, damn, it's so good. My one thing is don't smell it before you drink it because it smells like burps, but it tastes really good. Keys, something that's important. I got this little like keychain key organizer thing from a different bag, I can't remember, but I'll try and find you something similar because I don't think it's even available separately. Um, it was just attached to this bag, but keys, of course. And sometimes I'll even spray down my keys because, yeah. A body spray this one oh my gosh okay you know everyone maybe not even anymore but was obsessed with Brazilian bum bum cream by Sol de Janeiro the smell of it is incredible and this is like the body spray version they have a uh, perfume as well which I'll link you it's so good uh, I don't spritz myself like in the vicinity of other people and I never wear a ton but this is more like if I was Cool out and was a bit stinky and wanted to not be stinky I might give myself a little spritz with this but be be thoughtful of people with fragrance things you know a phone charger this one um, I've had this one for years I can't remember what the brand is but I'll link it for you and it has like this front door that opens um, and then has the iPhone charger or the USB cable but I just put this tooth sticker on there my friend's brand uh, she makes really cute clothes and I've often I'm often like wearing her stuff so very cute mints ginger mints if you are someone who is prone to nausea of any kind maybe it be like travel sickness or just the fact that you have hormones that make you feel sick all the time migraine sickness do men feel nauseous as often who could say? Anyway, I like to have uh, ginger mints with me because it's nice to have a little something to enjoy if you're feeling like you might vomit. This one is more of a category than anything and it's some kind of like 
universal balm that you can use on like cuticles, hands, or like cuts and scrapes, or um, I don't know, like highlight in a pinch. So these are three that I've used. This one I talked about a ton. It's the Dr. Dr. Rogers Restore Healing Balm. I've used this on like um, incisions from surgery. I've used it on, I think I've used this on tattoos, um, anything, lips, dry skin. It's incredible and it's also developed by a dermatologist. So it's basically got as few ingredients in it as it possibly can be while still being very effective. This one is from Bybee, which is their bait balm. Again, it's gonna be a similar kind of thing. This one is kind of a stiffer, balmy type thing. That one is more of like a, this one is like Vaseline kind of consistency. This one is more of a balm. Again, I would use that for the same kind of things. And then this one is from Looks Me. I think that's how you pronounce it. Um, I think this one is like super duper expensive, but I got it in a subscription box and was like, you know, I'd looked at it for a long time and then there she was. I'm gonna put some on right now. <laughs> I thought about this the other day. For as long as I can remember, I have been consciously trying to stop like biting the skin around my fingers and biting my nails. Uh, I don't bite my nails so much anymore because I usually try and have them done so that I can't be tempted. But like dry skin around my nails, I can't help myself. Sometimes I pick at the skin until it bleeds. <sighs> it's the worst, but it's not a habit that's gonna go away. So I like to try and make it a little bit less awful by when I find myself having the urge to be like, I will put cuticle oil or a balm or something on instead. And actually this one does feel very nice on the cutes. So yeah, <laughs> there's a little bit about me. Um. Highly recommend using cuticle oils. Just like a nice little moment. Meditative, you know? And those are also good things to carry with you if you live in a cold climate. Um, I often will like apply that to my face even if I'm out and it's really like brutally cold. Um, just like a light layer all over and I feel like it kind of stops my skin from being as affected by the uh, extreme colds. Listen, I didn't want to like AirPods, but I do. One thing I wanted to tell you guys, these are the pros, by the way, because they have, I don't know why this would make them pro, but they have the extra little squishy parts on them. And I have weirdly shaped ears, most likely because I had them pinned back. And so they've like removed cartilage and things are just shaped a bit differently. I know these go in your ear, but I swear because of that, my ear is just shaped weird and no earbuds stay in my ears long term. As soon as I even get slightly hot, they'll just fall out. These ones stay in better, not perfectly. Um, and I don't know if you guys knew this, but one thing you can do on your phone is put them in and then you kind of like do a test on your phone to see how good the seal is. And what I figured out was that, there's like dog hair and all kinds of stuff in here, I'm sorry, um, was that I needed different sized rubber parts on my things and they do stay in better now. So I have like one small and one large <laughs> ear. Oh, human problems. Anyway, they are the best. I love them for editing because there's not really any lag. Um, I've tried to use different, um, wireless headphones before that are like this like in-ear ones and the lag is always awful and when I've contacted the brands they're just like yeah there's nothing we can do I like use a different headphone basically so mm. the little case I got is from I think the brand is called like Incipio or something but it's similar to my phone case and actually I think that Pella do these cases now but I just didn't know that until now so yeah airpods you know what's almost good for introverts now is that when you go out, you can have your mask on, glasses on, hat on, AirPods in. Nobody's really gonna bother you, are they? It's ideal. Okay, and then the last thing, which I think is like the last of my like true essentials that I would have in my bag, lip products. If you don't have multiple lip products in your bag, I... I don't know if I commend you or if I'm afraid of you, but I always have a ton of options that are essentially all identical. Um, this is actually a broad variety of lip products for me, but these are some of my favorites. One is the Bite Agave Plus uh, Balm, which is in the color Buzz, so it's like a the same lip color I always wear. Another is the e.l.f. Lip Plumping Gloss. This one is in Sparkling Rosé. They have a lot of different ones. 
again, just like an easy, nice nourishing feeling lip product that has a little bit of color to it. Uh, this is the ColourPop Luxe Lip Oil. So that's a really nice one too, in the color Blossom Out. This will all be linked below if you forget. Hairs get stuck on this fuzzy jumper so bad. This is the one I have on right now, which is the Bite Guava Puff Lip Plumping Gloss. Let's put a bit more on. It's a bit messy because of the tip, but I love it. So yeah, it's, it's, they're always basically the same, but it's good to have options, isn't it? So those are some of my must-haves, things that are often in my bag. I wanted to kind of give you more categories versus like specific products. Um, obviously I will link everything I can in the description, but a lot of people already have these things and it's just nice to feel prepared sometimes, isn't it? Especially when you have no control over anything else happening right now. At least your handbag can be prepared. Let's take a look at my new shades. Okay, mm, I am super excited about this color because I love tan purses, like the one we have that is this shade already, I think is beautiful, but to me, for some reason, that shade is like overwhelming, like, which is stupid because it's so classic, but for me, I'm sometimes a bit like, ooh, does this go? This, on the other hand, is such a kind of beautiful, muted, like toffee caramel brown. Let me hold these colors up so you can kind of get a comparison there. Just a much cooler, quieter shade. As always, there's the little zip pocket inside. There is the clip for your keys, which, oh my gosh, makes things so much easier. Uh, that was like an absolute need when we were designing it because I'm always losing stuff like that in my bag. And then they come in these cute little dust bags, which I reuse mine uh, for like grocery bags like to put potatoes or something in, you know? Cute. This kind of color I love because it can be a little bit more um, businessy, smart, but I would wear this with like black uh, leggings, some white sneakers, a hoodie, and a hat maybe. And I just think it still kind of goes, it's like neutral, simple. I really love this color, I think it's beautiful. So during our last release, I did ask you guys what colors you liked and this kind of, Bordeaux, whiny, berryish color was something a lot of people asked for, so I really hope that um, we figured out a shade that you guys will enjoy. We didn't want to go red necessarily, this has like a little bit of purpley pink in it, but I still think it kind of gives you that nice little touch of color without being too overwhelming. Um, it's beautiful if I do say so myself. This is probably one, again, I would wear with like an all black outfit. Maybe like a little sassy outfit, not that we ever go anywhere anymore. But yeah, really pretty, a little bit different, but I think still very wearable. All right, and then this is probably the most requested color we had, um, which is kind of an olivey, khaki green. Everything does have the same gold Samara print on it, and I just love this. I put a picture on my Instagram with this on the other day and I just, I think it's so cute. Again, you could have it like a little bit more businessy, uh, smart looking, or I just had it with like a snow jacket on and it still looked really cute. So love a nice dark green. I'm so glad you guys wanted to see this because it's something I really like the look of as well. And again, I do think you could dress it up or wear it with like leggings, more like sportswear. And the color is just delightful. Mm. So, a huge thank you to you guys for making this collaboration such a success. I love seeing pictures of you um, using yours. It just is like, I don't know, makes me happy every time. So, uh, I really hope that you're going to love these new shades. If there are any other things you want to see, definitely let me know. I'm going to put all of the release information in the description box so you can check there uh, to see when they're available, price, etc. Um, but you can get 10% off by using either my link, which will automatically apply it to the mini tote, or um, you can use my code RIAN for 10% off. So don't forget to use that. And I do think these are great Christmas gift ideas, you know? That's enough of me tooting uh, my own horn, but a uh, big thank you to Samara for giving me this opportunity. It's been really fun to kind of expand on the idea that I just initially had asked her if they were considering bringing out a smaller size tote, and then 
here we are, we made one. Like I said, everything will be linked and listed in the description box. Discount information for the bags, the release date, time, all of that stuff, as well as all of the handbag essentials I mentioned earlier. So please do give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed. Um, subscribe if you haven't already. I would love to have you. My social media will be on the end screen to come. Check there if you want to see any of these other colors um, on my body, posing and such. And I will see you in the next one. Bye.